policies. A part of my mentoring program, we cover a large portion of policies. And I got to tell you that there's always room for growth. And how do your policies grow? If you ever order anything from me personalization wise, you will see that my policies are very extended. Okay. And they change. They change, and I'm going to tell you they're going to keep changing as customers, regular customers, not you guys, but regular customers bring me challenges. And so I got to tell you that um, I had a situation that I never had ever. I never had this situation ever um, happen to me, but um, this was something that happened uh, actually while the embroidery mentoring program was going on, and I would like to actually share it with you guys. I see some of my embroidery mentoring students are here, so um, this is something that we didn't actually even get a chance to talk about because your program may have ended. And so what happened was I actually uh, showed up to deliver a, a basket to someone, right? And um, it was two people there that I actually knew. One person I uh, delivered the basket to and the other person that I knew, and I just got into a little small chat with her and you know she was at the baby shower so you know me I'm kind of bold I asked her a girl how you at this baby shower with a gift and you didn't order from me you should order from me and she gave it right back to me she was just as bold she said Candy I, you know I love your stuff but I don't like the way you do things and I was like, wait, what? She said, I don't like the way you do things. Told me straight up. See, that's why you got to be careful what you ask people because when you're so bold with it, they're going to give it right back to you. Anyhow, she said to me, you, the last time that I purchased something from you, she said, uh, you put it all over the internet. And I said, but yeah, I do that. I do share pictures of my work, but I don't, one of the things that I do is when the customers place an order with me for a customized or personalized item, I ask, what is the event for? If it's a specific event, like a baby shower, I do record the date. So I don't post the picture before the date. So the mom or the person that's getting the gift don't see the gift prematurely. So I thought that that's what she was referring to. To, but it wasn't. She said to me, I uh, told people that the gift was uh, one item and one price. And uh, when you posted a picture of it, like a week later, you posted the price that I actually paid. And I said, yeah, you know, because that helps me attract new customers. Customers see if I post a, a price on the photo, they see, well, I can afford her services or I can't. And then if they call me, they already have an idea of what they are going to spend with my company. Well, that's what my thought was. Well, her thought was, well, no, I told the customer, let's say, for example, she told the customer something cost $150 when it really just cost $100. And so I posted the real price on the um, the picture, then posted it on the internet. And she was very upset with me that I had shared that information. Obviously, it, it, it exposed her to, you know, her telling a fib, but she just didn't appreciate the fact that I... Um, uh, put that the prices on my photos and she said you know nowhere did you ever tell me or on your paperwork does it say that you are going to be putting prices it does talk about you posting pictures and that you have the right to put it anywhere you want and publish it but you never told me that you were going to be posting the prices on these pictures and I thought you know what you got a point my policy doesn't cover that and she says, so that's why I stopped ordering from you, because if you want to be telling people what I pay for, it only makes people see what you paid for the, the gift. And I didn't like that. It was something that I truly had to consider. So moving forward with my policy, I actually had to include that in my policy, my pricing policy, that my prices are publicly posted. So this way... If they have a problem with it, they can either cancel, they can cancel, you know, they do have 24 hours to cancel with me and be like, no, 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 because I don't want everybody to know what I'm paying, or they're going to have to run the risk of, you know, it posted. I don't post the pictures in every picture, but nine times out of 10, the prices is going to be on my photos, but I never considered, ladies and gentlemen, I never considered if customers who already bought from me would have a problem with that. I was always concerned about attracting new customers on my pricing being so open and so forward. And so that is something that I had to incorporate in my policy. And so that is one of the reasons why my policies are so extended. Because as things happen to me as an embroidery business owner, I make sure that that's not going to happen again, especially if it causes me inconvenience. And in this case, my policy of posting pictures cost me a customer coming back to me because the prices were posted.
And so now it's in my policy. So now from here on, anyone who shops with me with a custom made something or personalized good, know that if I post, I may just post a price on it. And so it's just something to think about. 